guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Achichi Chisulo I make sewing tutorial videos DIY videos and everything sewing related so in today's video I will be answering your questions on this video that I made I uh, actually there are some people that could not get the you know what I mean yes so we'll be answering the questions the most frequently asked questions today did you guys know that that video has hit a million views yeah i'm so excited for that thank you so much for the love that you showed me thank you thank you thank you going in details like the most frequently asked questions we're gonna answer them in detail you need to grab some tea relax and be comfortable because we are not going to answer these questions again okay today is the final <laughs> the final answer day so let's get started so the first question that i actually saw was what is the white thing so the white thing is actually called the uh, interfacing it is used when you want to make uh, fabric harder there are different types of interfacing that you can use depending on the project that you're currently working on use interfacing when you want to make the cloth harder and it can be attached to the main fabric by ironing so that's the reason why i was ironing the white fabric to the main fabric that we're using and you're supposed to use it the inside part of the material then that's when now you put your interface and iron on top okay so there are different types of interfacing that you can use make sure to just so there are actually different types of interfacing that you can use there's um the one which is which is like more soft and it's made out of like a cloth and there's a one that is um it's made out of paper and it's more like a paper because you can rip it off so you have it's uh, it, it actually comes in different is it volume or density but you know what i'm talking about so there's a thin one the medium and the extra hard so in the video i actually used extra hard interfacing because i wanted i wanted got was how many meters did you use i actually used about five meters because the lining it was actually self-lined meaning uh, the outer fabric the main fabric was also the lining that was the lining that i had used that's what i wanted because i had enough fabric and i decided to do that someone else asked me is it okay if we can just use the ordinary lining instead of using the fabric <clears throat> yes it is okay to use the ordinary lining you can use the ordinary lining i think as long as the interfacing is not showing whatever fabric that you decide to use is fine next question was how did you attach the zip I attached the zip just the normal way I'm actually very sorry that I didn't get to show you guys I don't know I, I, I honestly don't know why I didn't show that part but it was just an ordinary uh, zip that I used the ordinary invisible zip left side okay no 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 left side right side just yeah so that's that's how I had put the zip the other question that i got was just just a minute i don't know where i went okay so tell me the material tell me the white material the white material that i used was interfacing and interfacing actually comes in different types there's one that comes as like a cloth and the other one comes um, more like a paper you can rip it off that's the one I used and I, I used uh, extra hard because I wanted the interfacing to like is an interface is actually used 
to make the fabric stiff so some people actually call it stiffener some call it gum stay and of course a lot of people call it interfacing because it's actually used to make the fabric more stiff and the other question that i got was i have tried this i have tried this one yesterday but when i ironed interfacing on the fabric bubbles appeared on the fabric can you assist me why the bubbles came on the surface and what should i do so that i get a perfect panel like you so hope you got the question she tried to inter she tried to iron the interface on the main fabric but she got some bubbles so the reason why she got some bubbles was she did not iron it very well even in the video i actually mentioned you need to iron because it's an um, the interface is extra hard meaning it needs a lot of heat you need to iron it for a very long time so that it holds the main fabric yes so the reason why she got bubbles is because she did not iron the interface against the main fabric very well because when you iron the interface on the main fabric it actually um you need to you you need to put your pressing iron and just make sure that it holds because you're using an extra hard interface it needs extra attention when ironing it needs extra heat if you have bubbles meaning it wasn't nicely ironed you have to iron it i know the video was about eight minutes but to be honest that project took me a very long time one of the reason was the ironing i took a lot of time ironing i took my time ironing in the video it shows just me going here and there but you need to iron your interface that's the secret behind the whole making of a panel it's you need to iron the interface on the fabric very well like that's the only secret that's the way you're gonna get the perfect panel if you interface them they have to be like joined together it it has to be like one fabric so those bubbles meaning there's there's some air there and it wasn't joined together hope you get what i'm talking <laughs> what i'm trying to say yeah so the next question is what is the next question okay i answered about the zip i've talked about the this uh, what makes it stand is the extra hard interface if you don't have a extra hard interface you can use the regular interface but you need to double it okay so you need to double it meaning that's like extra ironing as well but even with um, the hard interface you need lots of ironing you can use double the regular interface if you don't find any interface in the market or at your local fabric store if you can't find the extra hard just use the regular one but double double it make them two okay good and iron the other question i wish i discovered uh, your channel more earlier my fashion dress was uh, a mess before this thank you so much oh so sorry about that you're welcome so and the other thing is when making the panel you have to calculate the waist measurement after calculating the waist measurement you can easily divide by the number of panels that you want so the top part has to be really small and the down part has to be wide that's the only way it will now form that cone because the upper part is small and the down part is wide i have seen people send me pictures of their panel dresses 
the upper part looks wide and the down part looks wide meaning it, it's just a straight thing and it won't give you that shape so if you need that shape make sure the top part is really small and the down part is wide that also applies when you're making a really long panel dress it should be very wide okay like really really wide those measurements like were for something short but if you're going for a long maybe a bridal dress make sure that it's really wide on the bottom even um because that was like an uh, 20 so you can even do 25 25 like 50 on the bottom so it has to be very wide and make sure you have fabric huh? so make sure the down part is really wide and make sure you have enough fabric to use and spare yes so, so those were some of the mistakes if you tried it and it did not come out the way you wanted it to come out those were some of the mistakes or where you went wrong make sure you iron and make sure the shape of the cone is a shape of a cone not something straight because that's the only way it will uh fall like that that's the only way to now make a panel dress if the shape is that of a cone and last i don't know is it last And if you want me to make a video about how much YouTube paid me for a million views, please comment down below, like this video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Fly, what are you doing? Don't forget to subscribe, guys, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and love you. Subscribe to my channel, please. Don't watch. Huh? You're coming every time watching and not subscribing. What's that? What's that? Please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.